I'm showing off a Royal Heritage 3 vintage typewriter today, and I believe this is a 1962. I cannot confirm it, but um, based on some of the research I've done and the typewriter database that's out there, um, I think it's a 1962. However, I have not been able to find any information on this particular typewriter. So that's really an educated guess on my part. But it matches uh, between the logo and the, the shape and um, comparing it with other serial numbers. I'm fairly confident this is a 1962. So let me show you around this particular typewriter. It's actually in really good condition. We've cleaned it up. And the exterior, besides just a couple of really minor uh, wear or nicks or something, and they're so minor, uh, looks fantastic. So up here, this is your margins, and you just push and move them to where you want. Um, this is going to be your one, two, and three. For those of you who are not aware, that's if you want to advance a single double or triple line. This is going to release the paper down here. So if it comes in crooked, you can adjust uh, the paper. Also the margin release, I mean the carriage release, excuse me, is, is hard to see, which is fine because you really shouldn't have to see it, but two little silver tabs right behind the handle here. And that releases the carriage. And for those of you who want to know, you will find the serial number if you move the carriage all the way to the right. There's a metal bar, and on this particular Royal Heritage, your serial number is going to be right here under the carriage on the left side. Okay, so if you everything else is kind of under the hood, so you just pop that open. Other heritages, you press the logo, and this one, you don't press the logo. Right here, you'll see the inward um, inside workings of this typewriter. So your type bars are here. This is your ribbon spools. It does take a universal ribbon. And if you purchase a typewriter from us, we always put brand new ribbons in our typewriters. When it is time to uh, install a new typewriter, uh, a new ribbon, make sure the black is on the top, red is on the bottom, and that you feed it through the guide wires properly. Um, also, when you get to the end of your spool, the uh, ink is going to get real light on your paper, or sometimes it'll um, the typewriter will kind of um, feel like it's jamming up. And before you panic, just um, open up the hood and reverse the direction right here. And it's a very minor thing that you do. And oftentimes, reversing the direction of your ribbon spool solves a lot of problems. Also, your color selector is right here on the right side. It's on red right now. Just press it and it's on black. And so back and forth, that is how you do that. To set your tabs is you're gonna clear, you're gonna set it here and clear it here. Okay, well let's do a typing demo and see how this particular typewriter works. So that feeds real well. And just a reminder, when you are typing, make sure you move your mugs or anything else away from your carriage area. And if your typewriter does not have a number one, you use the lowercase l. This is a really tiny font. Um, it's easy to read, it's clear, but um, it is really small, which makes this a nice option for those of you who are writers. And um, you do a lot of extensive writing because you're gonna get more characters per line per page.
Okay, perfect example. I have the ribbons going the wrong direction, so it's at the end of the spool, and you can see how faded that is and inconsistent. That tells me I'm at the end of my spool, my ribbon's not advancing. So I'm gonna move my carriage all the way to the left, open up the top, switch the direction, and that should clear that up. And let's start over here. Okay, so um, just one note and we'll uh, do some more, but sometimes if you're a quick typist on a manual, it doesn't always work that great. Uh, the F is slow to return, and so I type faster than the bar falls back down on the letter F, just so you know if you are a fast typist. Um, and it did it again, so it's the F does not come down fast enough. So I'll, let me slow that down. I'm going to try out the red ribbon. Very nice. We'll work on that F. Um, if you're looking at this particular typewriter, I'll put a note in our uh, Etsy listing to let you know if we were able to get the F to behave a little bit better. But um, this is a really nice typewriter. I like it. I like the feel of the keys. I like the size of the font and how dark and crisp and clear it is. Um, and it just has a nice smooth feel to it when you're typing. So this would be a an, an affordable option for, um, you know, there's a lot of typers that, typewriters that I recommend for avid typists, you know, novelists, screenwriters, I mean, people who do a lot of typing. And this one's gonna be a little more affordable than some of those that I recommend. Um, and this is just gonna be a great option. I love this. If you wanna know more about this particular typewriter, you can visit our Etsy shop. The comment is in the links below. If you're shopping for typewriters, this is a good option. For those of you who want to do regular writing projects, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and tell all your typing friends about us. Thank you. Have a great day.